Hey everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals and today I'd like to do a flip through of my latest journal. This is my vintage traditional Christmas junk journal. And the reason I'm calling it that is because of the greens and the reds and the creams and the gold colors that are used throughout this journal. I just love that combination. It's a timeless traditional Christmas color combination. So this journal was made from a cardboard box. It has three signatures, 80 pages. It has a three inch spine and measures six and a half by nine. So what I did is I covered both the interior and the exterior with fabric and I'll show you a little bit closer when we get into it. It is tied with a velvet ribbon that has been frayed and I just love this gorgeous green. I got this from a friend of mine and it just goes absolutely beautifully with all the colors in this journal. So let me untie this. It's wrapped around twice. Let me move this out of the way. Get that out of the way there. And I knew I wanted to add this to the cover just because it has all those traditional colors to it. And this is one of my lace slide envelopes that I have a tutorial on. And it's got some little bits of ephemera. And then on the inside, there's also a uh, little bit of ephemera and a postcard. And then on the back, there is another postcard that is stuck right in the back. And you can see that right there. So I did my uh, snippet roll with all of the fabric and the laces that are used within this journal. And I layered two other fabrics on top of this particular uh, green and gold Christmas fabric. And there is some there. And then along the top, I layered another one. And I did sew all the way around with a decorative stitch. And it is a gold metallic thread. And on top of that, I added this really cute Christmas brooch that I got at an antique store. And then along the side here, this gorgeous green boho scrap trim. Isn't that beautiful? And I just love that it has the gold accents. So then on the inside here, this is the front and the back cover is fully lined with this gorgeous print. I've got a little vertical belly band here and a tag that I created here with some journaling space on the back and a vintage postcard. And that is on some Edith Holden book pages here. This is a coffee, um, coffee dyed piece of paper that I created a while ago. And we do have a bunch of different uh, Christmas music in this particular journal. I got a uh, Christmas church um, handout that had all of the songs in it and it was from uh, quite a few years ago so I included a bunch of those in there. And we've got some writing space on this side, more coffee dyed paper, and this gorgeous image here is from the Graphics Fairy. I printed that on a piece of vintage ledger. And I have on this page a three-tiered pocket and I did create two altered playing cards and I did the two and the five for 25, the day of Christmas. I just thought that looked really good there. And a little tuck right here with some snippet of the fabric and the lace that's used. And I have a journaling card on the back and also a vintage envelope. And then on the top of this journaling card, you'll see some more of that gorgeous uh, boho trim. And this is like a, it's like a tool and I've used this in other journals. I got this in some Happy Mail and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And then on this side, here is one of my collaged pages and I do have a tutorial on how I did that. And I added a postcard on that to create a pocket. 
and here is one of my glammed up postcards that uh, I have a tutorial on and I created a just a little tuck spot right there and this one is lined with fabric I've got some vintage ephemera and then there's a little teeny pocket right up at the top here for some little bits of ephemera so that all fits right back in there and then I've got some uh, gorgeous script page there from the graphics fairy and I did on the side here this is a snippet with some of the papers and lace and trim that's used throughout the journal and here is another one of my collaged pages I created a pocket on this side and did a little bit of collaging on this vintage envelope and here is a large journaling card and it's got some authentic ephemera tucked right behind aren't those images gorgeous these are also from the graphics fairy and some uh, polka dotted sari silk ribbon at the top i just think that looks so good and then using this paper clip this is one of my embellished paper clips that i have a tutorial on and this is a large piece of um, authentic ephemera here is a fold out of that same ledger page that has the holly graphic on it and another large journaling card with a little belly band and some more little bits of ephemera on the inside there Got some writing space some more of that uh, hymnal book and here is another collaged page with a um, vintage envelope and I've got a journaling card on the inside here and a smaller one right there and this side pocket I have a gorgeous this is not really a Christmas uh, excuse me a postcard I think it, it well it might have been a Christmas card because it's not a postcard it doesn't have anything on the back but this is an original and I just thought that was gorgeous and some uh, vintage French book pages so those all fit right behind there and then on this side we've got a side pocket and I created a um, this is kind of a fabric collage and some more of that uh, sari silk trim there and this is the journaling card that we made in my tutorial on using lace on your tags so that fits right in there and then we've got another journaling card right above the top and some more vintage uh, ephemera behind there so those all fit right there and on this side this is a pocket that is um, up at the top got some vintage writing page right here I just thought that looked beautiful in there and another postcard so those fit right in there and then the second signature here is a side pocket and little journaling card there and some more of that gorgeous um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say the boho trim here and a little uh, pin that is attached with some e6000 on there that's of a wreath and let's see and most all of the pages i've did not mention have been sewn around the edges with that gold metallic thread here is a vertical belly band and just a really cute christmas card there and some more vintage ephemera behind that and here is a tuck at the bottom and we've got some more ephemera and I just love this this cute little card isn't it isn't she just adorable oh, love that Christmas card and some more vintage ephemera and writing pages on the back and then we've got a bookmark on this page here and this little beauty right here this is from my tutorial on uh, journaling pockets and cards using index cards so that's what that is there and then some more edith holden page writing page 
coffee dye paper. And this is a little tie closure here. And along the inside of that, I added another one of my lace lined envelopes, as you can see. And then on the inside, there is another postcard. So those fit right back there. Oh, and along the back, there is some more vintage ephemera. So that fits all right back in there. Got more writing space, Edith Holden. And here is another one of the tags that we created. I love these Christmas cards with the uh, Christmas tree on it. And um, I just think that that's wonderful. And then on the bottom here, this is a, just a little cutout from a Christmas card and it says Christmas greetings. And I added a little bit of glitter on that. And then on this side, we've got some more ephemera that I created and another postcard. And then on this side, look at that postcard. I love Christmas postcards. You guys know how I love to do that. And then along the side here, this is from my tutorial on, what did I call these? My embellished paper clips and bulb pins. So I used a lot of the, the lace and the fabric and uh, just added some eyelash trim. And these are all fabrics and laces that are used without within this journal. And then look at this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of uh, boho scraps. Oh, I just love that. I love the reds and I layered it. And this is some lace that I got from a uh, blouse that uh, I cut up. And then on this side here is a double side pocket here with a vintage postcard. Actually, this is a Christmas card, excuse me. And then on the inside, look at that. Isn't that absolutely the most beautiful thing ever? And you could even journal on the inside. Oh, wow. I love that. And then another vintage envelope back there. And I added, this was an earring that I cut off the back. It is of a snowflake. So that looks great right there. And then on this side, here is another one of my <clears throat> collaged pages, which I have a tutorial on, and another index card that I embellished with some writing space on the back. And this is a pocket that is created from <clears throat> an image from the Graphics Fairy. And I did add uh, some of that gold uh, rub and buff wax on a lot of the images in this just because I'm really into that that gold wax. I just think it adds such a gorgeous touch. And some writing space on these two pages here. And just a little side embellishment here. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a teeny earring and that is a wreath. And I just attach that with a little uh, safety pin there. A little journaling booklet that I created with some of the papers and ephemera that is used throughout this journal here. And it goes up in a pocket there and a little bit of ephemera along the top there. And here is another belly band. And this is a large journaling card that we created. And then there is some journaling space on the back. And I've got a, an old dictionary page behind that. And I just love adding um, this ribbon and all of the laces and all of the traditional colors uh, in this journal. It just turned out so beautifully. I, I absolutely love this. And here is the center. This is the center of the last signature. And I did do a belly band across the center. And behind that, there is a crochet doily and it creates two pockets and some more vintage ephemera here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. That image is also from the Graphics Fairy. And along this side, the same, same deal here. Another image from the Graphics Fairy and then another postcard. So those all fit inside there. Another one of my tassels. 
and that is with the with the bulb pins. I'm I've got some glare coming in right on my window, so I apologize if I um I feel like I'm stopping because I, it's hard for me to see. So, anyways, uh, another journaling card there, a little side snippet with some lace, and another pocket with some more vintage postcards. Let's see what the date is on this one. Ooh, mm, 1909. Love that. Oh, man, that is so cool. Some more journaling space here. And then this is my triple fold out. Let me see if I can get this all in frame here. Not really, it turns out to be rather large. So we've got three, three pages on this side and we've got a bunch of tucks and little bits of ephemera, and postcards. And here is one of my postcards that we created. We glammed up the postcards. So that's one of the glammed up cards there. And this all folds back. And then on the other side, let me move this again. It's hard to get this all in frame. There is the back page. And it's still, it has some more tuck spots and uh, vintage ephemera on that. And then we've got some writing space right along here. And this is a corner that I created here. It um, is a collaged page that I did with some of the scraps that are used in the scrap papers that are used in this journal and another embellished paper clip there. And we've got some vintage ephemera and this is from the Delineator, which is a magazine, a fashion magazine, and it talks about um, the Christmas tree in 1892. Isn't that awesome? I love that. Oh, that's so cool. That's so much fun. And that tucks right behind there. And here is the back page. And here's a little tuck spot with some more vintage ephemera. And then just another one of my side snippets along the back. So there she is. My traditional red and green Christmas junk journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I certainly had so much fun and this was so gratifying to create and I hope you guys love it too. So if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it and have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!